Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to check your motherboard model in Linux. So if you're wondering what model system board you have, there's an easy command you can use to look this up really quickly in Linux. So I'm using Ubuntu Linux uh, 20.04. So um, yeah, your mileage may vary. Um, this, the command should be basically the same for everything, but you may or may not have this command already installed. If you're using like Arch Linux or Red Hat, you probably do, but you might not. Any case, Ubuntu 20.04. Um, so run sudo dmi decode dash t2. And this is going to give you your system board info. So um, it, normally the dmi decode command will give you a ton of information about your hardware. But if you want to limit it to only your system board, just go t2 like this. And um, you, you're going to need uh, root privileges. So just use sudo unless you're logged in as root. Anyways, um, the important things are right here, your manufacturer and product name. So Asus Tech Computer Incorporated, ROG Strix Z390-E Gaming. So this is the system board right here. If you were to copy this name and paste it into Amazon or, or Newegg or eBay or whatever, you'd find this exact system board and you would be able to buy it. It's actually still on the market now. I bought this a couple years ago for my Linux desktop. Um, also. Um, if you were to search for this exact same thing on, on um, ASUS's website, you would also find the exact board. Um, so that's basically your model. Uh, product name, which is, it's basically your model. This is the model of system board. This is the version or revision. And this is the serial number. So you can get the exact serial number. This is, this, I feel like this is something people would generally censor out of their videos, but um, I don't see any point in that for this video. Um, any case, that, that's that's about it. The rest of this is not really important. I don't have any of these things defined, no location, or I'm not even sure how you define these off the top of my head. But, you know, asset tags, I don't have any of that. They're just default values. So the useful stuff is the serial number, you know, product name, which is your model, and the manufacturer, right? That's, that's the real useful stuff. Now, um, just to show you, if you were to run DMI decode without the T2, it gives you a ton more information about all the rest of your hardware. Now, I'm going to zoom out because uh, that's just way too much to see on the screen, but, but look at that. This is a, a ton of information. Um, it gives you information about like your RAM, um, you, you know, your PCI devices, USB devices, your BIOS, uh, you, you know, um, basically everything, all the hardware in your system, just more information than you would even, you know, you would ever even want to see. But um, yeah, so really, really useful command. Um, hopefully someone finds this useful or, or at least interesting. Hopefully this helps someone out. Um, might want to give me a thumbs up, uh, you know, like, and subscribe, leave a comment down below. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> hit the little bell icon. So YouTube actually gives you a notification when we come out with a new video, cause we have a ton of other great videos. Uh, we cover everything from hardware to software, windows, Linux, Mac OS, um, 3d printing, um, single board computers, electronics, robots, networking, hardware, software, basically just tons of great uh, technology related content you're not going to want to miss out on. So do hit that subscribe button. And, um, you know, if you know something I don't know, leave a comment down below. And that's pretty much it for today. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.